Hey guys, Rev here. New year, new airsoft review goodness. That's right, I'm taking it back to what more than 60% of you wanted to see. More cheap guns. I've been reviewing quite a bit of amazing decent guns in the past six months. Now, we are taking it back. This whole month of January, I'll be reviewing UKRM's guns. Oh my god guys, I am so excited. Especially since I'm reviewing something that has been requested by quite a few of you guys. Airsofters, let me ask you this. Do you want a revolver that shoots well, has great range, and makes you feel like a cowboy when fanning the hammer? Well, look far away. Because this $24 revolver from UKRM's is not for you. I'll be giving this gun away to one lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. Let me know what airsoft gun you want me to review next. And I noticed that 66% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as that's the easiest way to know when my next video comes out and when I do giveaways. Now onto the review. Taking a look at the box and... Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh my. You get a standard UKRM's warning and labels. Only this time, this G36B is one of the, and I can't put enough air quotes on this, newer revolvers they have. As this one is an actual one-to-one -one replica of the real thing. Oh boy, let's do this. Open this thing up and... Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh. You get the terms of service, a bag of BBs, eight shells, and the UKRMs, G36 Bravo itself. Wow, that thing smells awful. The body is mostly plastic with black paint with an orange tip at the end. The black version of the revolver looks more tactical and menacing over the silver counterpart. The only thing that this revolver has over the other revolvers of this price range is that all the pieces are functional. The hammer cycles each round, the cylinder holds the shells, actually rotates, and the trigger, well, fires. But what doesn't change, or what still stays the same, or how I should say it better, what still sucks from this UK Arms revolver? Well, shooting this thing is still awful. Even though you can hold multiple BBs at once in these shells, you never get to shoot all of them as all the BBs will roll right out of the shells. This is the same issue I had with the other revolver a few years back. One thing they did improve on is a grip, which is surprisingly grippy and texturized, unlike the previous iteration. Using this thing is quite easy, as there is no green gas or batteries to work with. Simply load the BBs into each shell, load the shells into each cylinder, rack the hammer, and fire. One of the issues that immediately appears are the shells. They are some of the crappiest shells I have ever used. They don't hold any BBs in place. And what I mean by this is that they'll either roll right out of the front when you're not shooting it, or all of the BBs get fired when the trigger is pulled, causing a very awkward shotgun effect, which sounds really badass. But we're talking about UK arms here, and the more BBs that are being fired out of that barrel, the lower the FPS you're going to get. Now, I would love to showcase this airsoft replica, but because of COVID and that I'm moving really quickly, I do not have any footage of this for the moment. But just take my word for it, as I'm kind of an expert at this. Bottom line, what do I think about the UKRM G36 Bravo or the revolver? Avoid it. If you're trying to take it to any airsoft field, do not do this. As a prop, it does a really neat job, as the black looks really nice and better than the silver chrome from the previous UKRM revolver. But outside of the looks, there's nothing redeeming about this piece of crap revolver, especially when you are buying it for $24. Also, there isn't a doubt in my mind that when I take this to my local fields where I'm moving, that it's going to absolutely break within a few minutes of use as the body seems to be pieced together very loosely. But hey, at least you look good when using it. Anyways guys, that's it for this week's video. I have some videos planned out, but if you're noticing any difference of changes in scenery, that's because I'm getting ready to move, or I've already moved. My roommate at this current location has been asking a lot of funny questions like, what are you doing here? Get out of my house. And my family can pay whatever you want. Please, leave me alone. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, like, and comment on this video. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.